In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, the Apostle Paul is addressing a church in a Greek city, obviously the city of Corinth. This was a city that hosted one of the most famous athletic events for the Greeks. This event was second only to the Olympics, a famous track meet, a foot race that those who won, well, they're held in high honor, high prestige. So to win took intense training, self-denial, physical discipline, and great strength. Now, we live in a culture today where we want everything pretty easy, instant, success, wealth, fitness, but without the price of work and self-denial or sacrifice. Kind of like the guy who, who said, I'd like to be a returning missionary. The honor, the accomplishment, the adulation, but, you know, skip the hard language school, uh, living in a foreign culture, being a minority or an outcast or an outsider bypass all the work, just enjoy the benefits, the results of coming back. You know, the, the adulation, the, the honor. When, when Paul speaks of our spiritual life here in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, he's reminding us through a physical example that there is no such thing as spiritual maturity or leadership or growth without discipline. Growth involves and requires saying no to the carnal and yes to the spirit. Building into our life those skills, habits, thoughts, things that make spiritual life rich and real. Listen to the exhortation that he gives us at the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Listen to these verses. He says, Do you not know, verse 24, that those who run a race, well, they all run but only one receives the prize. So run it in a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize, well, it's temporal, but they have to be temperate in all things. They have to train their bodies is what he's saying. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. We're going for something that, that lasts forever. It's not just a physical thing, it's, it's a spiritual thing but it involves the physical as well. He uses another illustration in verse 26. He says, I run not with uncertainty. And then he says, and I fight not as one who beats the air. He's using a boxing illustration like a shadow boxer, just boxing, but not really in a fight. He says, I'm really in a battle. It's a spiritual battle. And I wanna grow, I wanna be strong. I, I want to win the race, so to speak. And then he closes chapter nine with a warning. He says, but I do discipline my body and I bring it under subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. The apostle Paul says, look, I have to continue to grow. I have to continue to check myself spiritually, physically, because you know what? We all know and have seen people who disqualify themselves in the ministry because they don't continue to walk the way of the spirit and fall into the way of the flesh. And so Paul gives us this wonderful example of how to grow spiritually and to stay in the race all the way to the end here in 1 Corinthians chapter 9.